Well, we're still here at Shaganapi Park, and I think, I don't know, I've found a new sport to get involved in. And you don't even have to get involved by riding. You can also get involved by just coming out, cheering people on, and watching the sport. Alana, how long have you been into cyclocross now? Uh, probably five or six years. Okay. Um, our club, uh, Terrascape Racing, has been hosting this race here at this park. This is our eighth year. So it's called the Beans and Barley, and it's a fantastic event. Calgary, all the Calgary and Edmonton clubs put on races pretty much every weekend. Okay. And, uh, and so it's a great opportunity to come out to watch, to race, to volunteer. It's so spectator friendly, it's, and there's so much energy and enthusiasm. It's fantastic. Well, we're here on an early weekday morning, uh, taping for the weekend, and uh, you were able to get quite a few people out here. So that just goes to show me the kind of enthused people that are involved in the sport. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, uh, when people want, if they want to come out and check out Beans and Barley, first of all, we should say Beans and Barley because you get some chili. Yes, so that's been our tradition. Um, it's uh, it's always held late in October, so it's pretty cool, pretty chilly. And so every race entry, so every person that comes out to race or volunteers, you get a free bowl of chili and a beverage of a barley variety or juice or pop because we have also juniors that race and uh, we have a kids race too. This year we're actually going to have a junior category so uh, a U15 um, race separate from our little kids race. Aww. Very cute. Okay, now when uh, people are planning their day or if they want to come out and just check out the sport maybe for the first time, what time do they have to get here? How long typically is a race day? Yeah, so we have uh, six different um, categories going. Starting first race starts at 10, and uh, the earlier categories are the races are about 40 minutes. So, pretty much on the hour, you'll be able to um, uh, see a different a different category go, different uh, different race. Okay. Um, so 10, 11. Our kids race is uh, around lunchtime, so noon, and then the women go at 1:30, uh, and the open men, the elite men, which is the fastest category they are in the afternoon around 2 2 30 so. and probably a little bit excite more exciting it is, than it some is of the a little other. bit more exciting it's okay. not the biggest category the biggest category are the uh, expert uh, expert men category so okay. huge huge uh, um, uh, numbers of folks come out for that but uh, if you want more information you can go to the Alberta Bicycling Association website okay. or on Facebook look up beans and barley cycle cross race Sounds amazing. Um, now, what do you think people need to know about cyclocross specifically? It's not just watching people bike around a field. Well, no, but if you are going to come out to race, you must bring a cowbell because you got to make Yay! as much noise as you can. Um, to actually race, you can use a cyclocross bike, which kind of looks like a road bike with knobby tires, or you can just use your mountain bike. Okay. If you're coming out for the first time, bring whatever you got, and like you just ride around in circles for fun. I'll be there. I'll be the one with cowbell, with the cowbell. Fantastic. I'll be bringing. We need more cowbell. Alana, thanks so much for this. Thank you. We're here at Chaganapi Park. We'll be back for more Go Calgary. We're all ta we're talking all about cyclocross today. Stay with us.